is Ellen Marie Francisco. Thanks for coming into my channel. I wanted to talk about some of the energies hitting us in the next couple of weeks, starting the middle of October, which is right now, and uh, right through to the end of the month. I feel like we're uh, still processing an awful lot. I feel like we have a lot on our plates, even if we're trying not to have, and um, uh, we're sort of smack dab between the solar eclipse energy and the full moon energy coming in this week so and i do feel like a lot i just keep oh god i don't know why i keep seeing like so much red in the sky gee do you think it could have anything to do with all the fires burning everywhere and all the turmoil um i i do feel like the um the energies in this next couple of months are going to show us how much of a spiritual war this all really is. All the abnormalities in the world, all the abnormalities in the weather, all the abnormalities in the psyches of humanity, you know, trying to make it through the day. Uh, I think we're, uh, I think we're, <sighs> I think we're going to see a lot of extremes and I think it's going to be hard to distinguish between uh, what's working and what isn't working because sometimes the you know when something isn't working that's a sign that some other thing is working right like this is a spiritual war there's a lot of invisibility uh, uh, here even though I feel like more and more is being flushed into the light where it can't be uh, denied, uh, I think, you know, I think there's a lot that's just coming into the forefront. It's going to be inescapably, unavoidably, uh, realistically, uh, yeah, realistically surreal, basically. Uh, so... I feel like there'll be a lot of miscommunication, lots and lots and lots of it, constantly. So I also feel like we're, I know in other readings I felt like our hearing was becoming more sensitive, that there may be auditory things going on. Um, and I still feel that too. I feel like there's changes in the way we're communicating. I think that we've gone through enough of a shift where we're fine tuning our own word patterning and our own um, connection to the power of words. You know, I'll eat my words um, if I don't get this right feel like we are also still integrating some of the energies that hit us through the solar flares. I know a lot of us got kind of knocked out from that. That was a lot at once. And, um, and I also feel like, oh yeah, that's the other thing I keep hearing is walk the walk, walk the walk. You know, that expression, walk the walk or talk the talk. I think it's a walk the walk during in these next couple of weeks. So I think you, I think we're getting really clear on what journey are we really walking on? Like there have been so many adjustments that have had to be made in these previous weeks and months that you know there's a lot of people who are just you know wondering if they can safely take their next step and uh, if it's all going to turn out okay. So uh, I think. Uh, oof, is it all going to turn out okay? Um, wow. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a, that's a loaded question. Uh, I think it's, I think it's working out the way spirit wants it to work out to get to the next step. And I think the turmoils that we're seeing are extremely pointed. I think the turmoils that are showing up are meant to be um, dissuaded into uh, our consciousnesses. So I think we are taking back steps and backtracks through um, things that we didn't want to really get into to begin with. I think that there, I think that's why I'm seeing it as like a readdress and a readjustment 
not necessarily a full on reset. Uh, yeah. And what else did I see? Uh, do we feel any lighter, even if we are getting all this new light? <laughs> I don't think so. I, I mean, maybe, maybe glimpses here and there, you know, see through, poke through moments. Uh, but I think, I think there is a heaviness um, that is just needing to clear. And I think it means the physical densities of our bodies in order to clear. So it's almost like it, it almost feels like this energy is entering our bodies to create a density um, that can't stick around. Like it's sort of, I think it's, I think it's triggering the release of some of our densities, I guess. I thought we were through this. I thought, I was hoping, you know, sometimes I don't read too far because what do I really want to know right now? Except that uh, I'm in the right place doing the right thing for the right reasons. That's all I, that's all I need to do. So if you reduce it down to the simplistic forms, what is your motivation? Are you working towards it? And uh, do you feel like it is part of your divine mission here to be doing the things you're doing? If it doesn't feel, if you can't find the, find the divinity in it, or the God in it, or the love in it, then what, what are you doing spending your time with it? Do you know? Like, are you? I guess this is a good point to ask, like, how many martyrs are there really in this world? Like, how many, how many need to be the martyrs? Can you just make the breakthroughs and uh, get on with it? I, you know, that would be cool. That would be really good. And the other thing, too, I think we're dropping, um, God, I said I'm seeing all this stuff like drop, drop, drop. I'm trying to figure out what's dropping. Here's the other thing, norms, our old norms. They're, old norms are not necessarily great norms. Uh, I mean, they're just redundant and looping, you know, perseverating nonsense. So it's time for some free thinking here and it's time for some bold action that brings in better results because it's better suited towards our needs to begin with. So I guess that that's the other thing. Our needs already changed, right? They changed. So how are they being addressed now? One thing to have them change. It's one thing to be all in. Sure, I'll make the change. Um, but, but are you allowing for the necessary steps in that change? Are you allowing for the new footings that that change requires? Are you prepared for the rest that you may need to gather the strengths and the resources in the meantime? Uh, things like that are probably going to be running through our focus as well as um, a complete mistrust in upper management, clearly. I mean, oh my God, are you kidding me? What's going on out there? On all levels of all, like, wow, the chaos as the clarity comes is mind boggling. Uh, so abandon the chaos, drop the drama, and just get to the core. This is it, right? We're, we were supposed to get to our core so we would know what to do next. And if our core is being activated and you're still doubting what your steps are, then, then you just may have a complete lack of faith. So, and that may be what, you know, that may be yours to work on this cycle. As far as where where do my faith land, where does my faith land, and is faith part of my base or is fear part of my base? Right, like usually the faith lives up here in your body, up here in the crown chakra, and the fear will live down here in your root chakra. So, if you're building a foundation uh, and it isn't on faith, then 
you're sinking into a comfortable fear that isn't really helping you. So, so I guess that's the thing. We're going to have the choice to break through outmoded, outdated, um, perseverating loops in ourselves. Let's break the loop, break the loop, break the, break the chain, break the chain, that kind of stuff uh, is what I'm hearing. Break the chain, break the cycle. Um, and hopefully you won't break the bank doing it because I can feel, uh, I can feel the pinch of the financial market when I'm feeding into the next two weeks too. So, so I feel like, you, you know, it's like, lots of squishing and lots of bomb dropping, like, you know, and that can be figurative or literal, I would say, because I do, I just keep, I keep seeing the repeat, you know. Um, so whatever's going on, I guess, and whatever warring countries are going on right now, that's probably going to escalate is my guess. I do not think these are going to be the two weeks where the peace treaties are signed. Like, I just don't see that happening. So, um, and it's really sad because... Like, there's no, wow, yeah, there's nothing spiritual when you're feeling war here. It's just, <sighs> it's really sad that uh, we're not feeling that yet. But it, whatever. I guess we gotta, like, one step at a time. What are we gonna do? Like, one step at a time. And if we're powering up ourselves and we're getting used to um, bringing our own source, force energy into the pocket. I think that that's what's happening. I think that we're getting a little test on where it is that we're going to need to stand up, speak out on guard for our own freedoms and sovereignties and things like that, right? Like we're not repeating 2020, everyone. Like we're just not, okay? Too many people woke up. Too many people got it. That was... I mean, it's, I'm just always amazed at how, you know, the evil forces essentially will do what they can to outwit the light. And yet, in their forcing, in their forcing maneuvers, all it's doing is it's forcing spirit to come more clearly into our lives in all the other ways that it can. So, uh, I mean, this is why I think there is more light on the planet because the dark is trying so hard for there not to be, right? Or what does dark like to do? It likes to steal our light. <laughs> so, there will be, I, I feel like there are times in these next number of months and years where you know, we cannot let our guard down with the authorities. We cannot let our guard down with the bullies who are just trying to control because they're into the power, okay? Real power does not try to control. It just doesn't. Real power honors and releases so you can shine. Like, if that's not the formula that's working in your life, a base of support in order for you to shine, then the dark forces have you in their grasp. And then you should wonder if you if it, this is voluntary or if there's a little bit of free will here that you can exercise to get yourself out of whatever entrapments have built themselves around you slowly without you hardly even noticing. And put a stop to it because, you, you know, that's what I think. Is it all happening in the next two weeks? I think I think this is the energies that this moon is bringing in. And I think we're going to be revisiting this in one way or another in, in the coming. I'm seeing like every couple of months it's sort of hitting us in one way or another for, for about six months or so. So, so it looks like we're going to have cycles of this where we're probably being tested. Okay, let's see. Let's, let's see what happens this time. Can we like, think about the most manipulative people in your life? And think about the point where you started to see through their manipulations 
and ask yourself, where else are you being manipulated? Where else are you willingly allowing yourself to be manipulated? So, and I really feel like there are souls in our communities that are not only waking up, but they're waking up to the mission at hand, which is to hold the new tone and hold the line of um, peace for the people and power to the people and all the rest of it. Like this is no time to put the snooze button on anything that has to do with your own sovereign ability to live your own divine sovereign life. And there's no government that is available to take that from you. And should they try, I would say that's your test to stand up against. So I, I do feel like, um, y you know, part of why um, connection to your own divinity is so important is because that's where your directives come from. That's where your mission statement gets loaded in. That's where you understand who you're trying to become right so and you're meant to carry the torch here you're not meant to go here's the torch drop it let's put it you know you gotta run with these things now this is not i mean it's so interesting i keep hearing like slow down rest you know all of that but at the same time it's like there is no time to waste so <sighs> I know from what I went through in the uh, fires recently in California, um, that was a test for me. I, I, I did some reflection on what did that really mean? What, did, you know, what am I learning from that? What I learned is that spirit started for, to prepare my body for what it needed to do in that evacuated fire zone during the worst days of the fire threat. Uh, my body was a conduit to nature. Nature worked through me. I watched it. I watched it. I watched. I shouldn't say nature works through me. Maybe the better way to say is I witnessed nature work around me. Meaning the trees told me. The leaves told me. The birds told me. The animals told me how my day was going to go. Um, you know, as, as much as spirit did. And uh, so yeah like it's a slow crawl to a fast forward momentum and the readiness is necessary the quietude is necessary less outdoor noise less outdoor opinions and infiltrations see that's the thing that's the power of the words in our life we just need to hear a like we like we can imprint on one sentence, you know, if it's the right tone in that sentence, we're going to hear it for decades to come. So what are all the things that you're listening to all day long that are filling your body with junk? What are they? Can you eliminate a couple of them? Detach because everything is, 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 is a possibility of transference, right? Like you do not want to be around the pollutants of the universe. You want to be around the clarities and the pure essences. So, um, yeah, so, so be willing to cast off whatever negativities um, as easily as possible as well. I feel like we already had a run for our money with all this, you know, negative stuff that's been happening to us as we're clearing our karmas. Like that can raise a lot of doubts and insecurities in us. And then we get to deal with, you know, whatever repressed PTSD didn't get dealt with and all the other emotions that might have not been cleared out when opportunities presented. So, so I think that we're, um, I think this is going to be a doozy. Again, not for the weak of heart. Like, it's not, I mean, it sounds sad, but not everybody wants to stick around for this, right? Like, we've seen this. We're seeing the mass exodus off the planet. If it wasn't from COVID, it was from the aftermath or the lockdowns or the suicidal tendencies and all the rest of it. And, uh, I mean, mankind is thinning itself out in its own way. Um, and, you know... 
like it's just a whole different level of a commitment now. It's just a whole different way of approaching everything. And however, if you are in more alignment, if you have been listening, if you have been doing it, if you've, if you've been, you know, gritting and bearing it, even though it's been tough, you're getting through it, then the light, the breakthroughs happen. The, they will happen. They may not happen on your timeline like you were hoping, but they will happen. They will come to roost. Yeah, so anything that you can do to soothe your own savage beast during this next couple of weeks is going to be important and that can be anything you want to whatever just do whatever get a bunch of lollipops if that will soothe your savage beast if that's what it's going to take that's what it's going to take so that makes me wonder if something to such an extreme intensity is coming um that you know the mind-numbing stuff may be needed. Yeah, that's kind of how that looks to me. Hmm. So, so I guess that's, yeah, so maybe it's true. Maybe we will want to anesthetize ourselves from some of the harsh realities that are hitting more directly in these next couple of weeks. So I would also say, I would go as far as saying, uh, don't go anywhere you don't want to go. Like if you get even the tiniest little, mm, I don't think I want to do that. Or you get a little message like, don't do that. Uh, then I would, I would take that as a loud speaker, you know, with amplified speakers on top of the speakers and use that as a direct message from God or whoever you want to call it, <laughs> you know, God, <laughs> all the gods that have all the messages need a lot to be imparted to us now. So that's the other thing too. It, let's go back to the fact that the solar eclipses, two of them this year, were massive doozies. Uh, are, like seriously, you can physically see the change in people and the course of their lives and then of course you know that's wow it's just a lot of power of one at once um so so keep in mind you know you have new tools you have new tools especially if you've been doing you know all the mandatory mm, so much of this is mandatory inner work that comes with spiritual growth it's amazing how much spiritual growth is actually emotional work um right like our spiritual growth comes because we're managing our emotions better as well so i would segue into saying yeah where is your where is your emotional heart lying right now and are you lying there with it and are you okay um in the status quo in the temporary while you integrate the rest of uh the solar onslaughts they're calling them solar onslaughts <laughs> yep <laughs> i feel like i've been onslaughted <laughs> you gads okay so what else can i see um i guess in some regards this is I'm hearing golden opportunity. So if all of this energy that we've been receiving, it's hitting our bodies and hitting our psyches and we're integrating, we're getting better with it, then yeah, what direction do we go in next? Is the sky the limit? Is it possible that all these new beginnings are just gonna be extreme in themselves and bring in um, better abundance and better connections? Yes, I think so. I think that I felt this earlier too. I feel like the doors just aren't going to open on the things that aren't yours. I mean, that's the way it's supposed to work. That's why you work at connection with yourself so that, you know, while spirit's connecting to, or while you're connecting to spirit and spirit's connecting to you, um, you're getting a lot of work, a lot of work done. A lot of work done. Uh, what else do I see? 
see about this. Yeah. Uh, rest periods. Inception periods. Gestation periods. That's kind of... Hmm. So then... Yeah. So I would say dial it back. Just dial it back a little bit. I'm not saying get off target. I'm not saying don't go after it. I'm saying narrow your focus. Step it back a little bit. Uh, reassess your foundations, make sure they are rock solid before you build, y you know? So yes, this is a time not to be impatient and not to rush forward because you've just got to do it or you've just got to have it or it's just got to have to happen. I just have to have it my way. I wouldn't really, I, I mean, there's a fine line between sticking up for yourself and wanting connection and wanting to do things your way because that's what you came here to do as part of your spiritual plan. It's another thing if you're just pushing up against the will of it and it's not in the Bible and it's not in the right timing and you're just forcing solutions or forcing conclusions or forcing wrap-ups that you know, just aren't really favorable under any light and you're forcing things to be. So uh, I would say don't force it. This is not, I would be strategic in my planning ahead of time and trim the fat, slim it all down, get back to what, if you're working, are you, you know, are you doing the work that's most important? to the, the job or are you just doing anything that needs to happen around there because I really want you to do it, you know? Uh, I mean, I think there are some choices that we're making during this period of time that are bringing us better boundaries or better sense of, you know, what can you do? Uh, how can you relate? You, you know, do you have to, you have to cross a boundary to relate to somebody or can you relate with your boundary, you know? So I think there may be um, like I'm seeing all of a sudden these images of like the fence line moving, you, you know, like there's some debate over where the boundary line is. And I mean, that could relate to anybody on a personal level who's ever owned a home and shared land with somebody, you know, at the side yard or the backyard. But it could also be a state of, you know, whatever's going on with all the warring. So, like, I don't think I would normally say something like that. So, uh, or not like that in the way I did. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't think it's, I'm just hearing war, 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 war. Um, the war within. So I guess that's the point, right? Like if, if all of humanity's at war with themselves to some degree, are we surprised to see the wars elsewhere? I mean, when does the madness stop, right? Put down the guns, man. Uh, so the motivations running behind everything are going to be even more clear, I guess. In this, you know, it's just, it, this is the thing. This is part of, like, the laws of light, revealing. Revealing is part of the law. You must reveal. <laughs> Right? Like you cannot hide all the time. It doesn't say you have to show everything all the time either. But you, if, you know, if you're light, you come in light. You don't come wrapped and shrouded in darkness. I'm sorry to say. And you do not resort to dark means of manipulation and control. Yeah. So as I was, as I was saying, if you're defaulting, and I don't mean you, because if you're my viewer, you're probably, <laughs> you're only defaulting to light, probably. But if there are those out there that are defaulting to those antics, the manipulations, the one-upmanship, the competitiveness, the whatever it ends up being, they are not working the light, okay? They're just not. So the minute you recognize that, you know, backtrack, off step, 
I don't know if you need to go head to head to war this week on your own terms. But there may be things that you're standing up to or you're getting used to wanting to defend or need to defend for yourself regardless. And I guess that that is uh, part of what we're here to do anyway, right? We need to defend ourselves. We need to honor um, our own needs and our own desires and our own goals to a huge extent so you may also be um, keep saying I'm re readdressing to hmm. it's a lot of rewords read this read that read that so uh, yeah so we may be you know what you don't really have to redo things that you don't get right the first time. Do you? Do you have to? I don't know. Anyway. <sighs> I guess the point of us getting all these new gifts and powers are to put them into good use. And usually in my experience, what I see is spirit will, you know, bring us these opportunities to increase our gifts, just like I've seen with all the solar and lunar eclipses, like our gifts are growing, period. We are consciousness is changing. So if you're working with that energy fervently, you know, with any kind of um, cohesion, you're going to get it done. It's going to make a big difference. So I would not give up yet being on the brink of so much that can break through and come through. I guess that's the point I'm seeing too. I just don't think that humanity is going, sure, okay, we'll do that again. I just don't see it happening. So whether you want to take the old stuff that happened with COVID, which still isn't so old, and uh, there's something else that comes in or whatever, I, I don't think, I don't think they're getting away with it. I don't think they're getting away with that. I don't think too many people are getting away with anything right now, actually. I think that was the part of the karmic reckoning a few months ago, is Spirit was hoping that we were doing that willingly. And if we didn't get it done willingly, they were willing to send in the dirty, <laughs> dirty dudes to get it done, right? Even if they were your guardian angels, they will help you get it done. So, I don't know if they'd send the angels in for that job, actually, but, but there may be a specific guide assigned to you for, you know, that expansion. Anyway, um, but what am I seeing now that I've mentioned all of that about angels and all the rest of it? Um, you know, there are a lot of benevolent beings that just prop themselves on the edge of these realities, waiting to bring the help or the support from the invisible worlds into yours, into your lap, basically. So if that were true, how would you be welcoming welcoming those energies now would you be welcoming them or would you be debunking them would you be you know there are so many truths there are so many individual truths that stand alone um right now and also can be joined by similar truths. If this is true, then this is true. If this is true, then this is true. If this is true, then this becomes true because this becomes true becomes true. So, you know, I feel like we're drawing a lot of lines to things and making connections like, oh my God, and making connections. So, so that's how it's going. So if you have new skills and talents and you barely scratch the surface of understanding one, what they are and two, what to do with them, then can you see how even if 
there is madness in the world, even if the warring continues. Can you see how maybe you're a little bit more at peace? In your own way? If these things are true for you. Hmm. So I guess that's is that where I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it right now. All inevitable truth coming out. So I love it. I love the truth. I love it when it comes out. I'm like, ah, I saw it all along. I'm glad I don't have to yell at you about this. It's coming forward. So I wouldn't make anything a fight. Uh, I think just taking the information and let it ground into itself without you having to be too involved. Some of the stuff is just a pass. Some of the stuff is just a test to see if you'll just let it be as well. It's really weird timing because there are gonna be times where they're, like spirit is gonna really want you to step up and take some initiative. And then there's times when it's just gonna be nothing to say, just gonna go do my work. So, so hopefully you're not crossing the wires on which one is which, you know, because sometimes that can get a little sticky in these troubling times. But regardless, uh, if you can just put the trust in yourself, put the trust in your higher self, Put the, the, put the efforts into showing up whatever connections you've made with yourself so that, you know, if it does all hit the fan, uh, you've got good, clear information and it's not being cut off from you because you decided to cut it off from you. You know what I mean? So just roll with it all and for sure keep breathing. Uh, I feel like some of the anxieties that were plaguing that were plaguing a lot of people um, are kind of clearing out a little bit or softening off. Oh, um, softening off just as much as other things are hard, hard angles. Like I just feel like, whoa, I'm just seeing these like, <laughs> hold yourself like this for a minute or two. Oh yeah, that's the other thing too. For sure we're getting stretched in new directions. I see it energetically. Uh, I've been seeing it a lot lately. And uh, and I can feel it in my own space. So I really do believe that we are stretching our comfort zones during this period. Our spirit is helping to, um, to do that. So other things become easier or clearer or more available yeah and I guess the other part is um, sort of the in the moment moments in the moment moment um, that may be significant I don't know why hmm. Anyway, I think you get the picture. It's still going to be a little dicey out there. But what's clear, but what's clearer is you. So, like, if you're clear, does it matter how mucked up the world is? You're just going to know how to navigate through it. You're going to be at the right place at the right time, and you're going to avoid certain disaster. I think that's the way it goes for people who are connected. So... As much as it may be a little unsettling at times to see what that connection entails, um, give it an emergency situation, let it work for you, and you will always be loyal to that. Yeah. Loyalties are a big thing right now across it especially on a government level oh my god like I gotta say it just looks like the governments are getting pummeled to me I really honest to god I just checked like Canadian 
U.S. I'm like, oh my God, it's just like this. It's like high, low, high, low, high, low. Like, geez. And it feels so, it feels so sharp. Like I feel like I'm watching the Dow Jones go down or something. Sharply down, sharply up. So who knows? Something could be going down and something's going up, right? Like it could be just be this really weird topsy-turvy time with certain aspects just flourishing or, you know, wow. So uh, lots of room for miracles during a time like this, especially if you're in anguish and you've just got to have a better life or you've just got to feel better or whatever that impetus is to make it better. So, you know, hmm. and I do still feel like, uh, oh yeah, so exercise as much as you can within your own limits, within your own comfort zones and within your own abilities uh, because I feel like yeah maybe that's what it is it's, it's like the fear has to yeah the fear is stimmied in certain points in the sort of collective um, that would yeah that would clear <sighs> All right, well, that's another topic. I think it will just sort itself out. Uh, what else do I want to say about this next couple of weeks? Uh, bodies of water. Working with the tides. Being ritualistic, obviously. And that's all good. It's all going to work. And I guess that's about it. Yeah, all right. Well, may the force be with you as always. It's just so much out there. So first of all, what's the other thing? You don't have to take everything seriously that hits you out in the ASI world. You can just go, wow, well, look at that freak show. Okay, and keep moving. Like you don't really need to engage. Um, so again, back to the don't go anywhere you don't feel you don't need to go. That might be your body telling you you shouldn't be there for a good reason. And it could be, you know, something that saves your life. Like, just phew. funny how that happens. Anyway, I hope you have a great, 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 great couple of weeks. And I will see you soon. Thanks for coming in to my channel.